Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 23, and we're continuing our playthrough of Portal. We uh, met GLaDOS and accidentally replaced her with the, uh, the dumbest AI the brightest minds could put together, apparently. Yeah, so that happened. And we fell deep, deep, deep into the caverns where the older portions of the facility uh exist and we entered some an area uh apparently created in the 50s 60s somewhere in that i mean one area said 1960s and then another said 1950s and we keep hearing these pre-recorded messages from this uh cave johnson fella yeah that, that's a 1950s look if i ever saw one and uh his lovely assistant caroline and we're just trying to figure out how to get where we need to go. Um, oh, and potatoes. Because, uh, <laughs> uh, Wheatley put Gladys attached to a potato and a bird flew off with her. I'm sure we'll find her again somewhere along the way. Spirit of Idaho. For the promotion of potato science. Uh, Cave Johnson shower curtain salesman? What? Aperture Science, best new science company, 1947. Okay. Potato Sciences in 55. <laughs> okay. Local entrepreneur buys salt mine. Cave Johnson to bring science industry to Upper Michigan. Michigan. Um, okay. The future is here and it's under the Earth's crust. Okay. Huh. All right. Oh, uh, all right. Now we're over here. Oh, this is going to be, uh, this is going to be one of those, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, I get a bad feeling about this. We're going to have to do some more aerial acrobatics, aren't we? Uh, hmm. Hmm. Alright, so we can get somewhere over there, right? Oh, that was a little closer than I wanted. No? Another discontinued experiment? No. Just a heads up, we're going to have a superconductor oh. turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next <laughs> test. I'll be honest, we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks. No idea what it'll do. Um. Probably nothing. Best case scenario, you might get some superpowers. Worst case, some tumors, which we'll cut out. <laughs> so now you get a really good idea of why, why aperture science is the way it is. Okay, okay. All right, um. Oh, interesting. Let's try this again. Oh, oh. All right. And go there. All right. And what we 
probably need is we need as much momentum as we can get, right? So. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, three, two, one, jump! Oh, 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 no, 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 don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. <laughs> that, uh, yeah. You know, I kind of miss the safe constraints of a test chamber. At least those had to be within certain bounds. And, uh, you didn't have quite a final solution. All right. What's through this way? Pump station alpha. Know your allergens. Pollen, animal dander, plastics, and antimatter. <laughs> oh, hello. The 50s called. They want their typewriter and computers back. Know your hazardous materials. Don't touch anything unfamiliar. Know your chemical hazards. Do not inhale fumes, no matter how good they smell. <laughs> Gel pressure control, huh? Alright. Something's going on here. Definitely looks like it gotta be going up, but I don't see uh let's put the blue portal a little bit higher, maybe. There we go. I don't know if that's the intended, but uh gel flow. Alright, that looks like uh they say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. <laughs> Seriously. No hand-holding. Alright. Um, well, that looks like a early version of the material emancipation grid. Which, of course, they would have to find a way to work into the older areas. Alright. Up the elevator we go. Right. Oh. All right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control hmm. group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. <laughs> well, okay then. Uh, oh. We're in the old Aperture Science Chamber number... Nine. Sorry. Aperture Science Innovators. Navigational directory. Sure, okay. I'm noticing a lot more dangerous floor floating around here. Alright. Remember, this test is unsolvable without an after science portable quantum tunneling device. If you have not received one, please find a test associate before participating in any Shaft 9 enrichment activities. Oh, is that what the early portal gun looked like? <laughs> Did 
Did you know? After science. Fact placard repulsion gel. What's well, after his first attempt to create a dietetic pudding substitute? It's true. The gel is a sweetener. Slightly. Oh, sorry. The gel is a sweeter, slightly less non toxic form of fiberglass insulation. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. The gel is a sweeter, slightly less non toxic form of fiberglass insulation that causes subsequently ingested food items to bounce off the lighting of the dieter's distended stomach and out his or her mouth for various reasons. This product was pulled from the shelves. For more information, consult the following placards. Lawsuit, outrage over. <laughs> okay. Ah, this is one of the other new, new things that we're going to be playing with. This repulsor gel. We get to bounce. Oh, look! Buttons! Alright. Um, is this going to be one of those uh, energy is conserved? Yep. Oh. Oof. Okay. There we go. There's our button, and... That must be the early version of the companion cube? Yep. <laughs> oh, look. It's all the early versions of everything. Has just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre recorded messages. I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. <laughs> well, okay then. Next test chamber is this way. Uh, there's a whole lot of nothing that way. Oh. Maybe it's about to be this way. Yeah, it's about to be this way. Um, which way is next? Did I mention that I miss Wheatley? I miss Wheatley. I mean, before he went all power hungry and decided to, you know, kill everybody and take over everything. Uh, ooh, do I drop down there and walk in? Or do I keep going this way? Let's uh let's try to keep going this way first. And no. It's just an office with stuff that we can't manipulate. Although, how's that for a throwback office design? <laughs> Alright, uh let's try. This next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, oh. maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. All right. Um see the companion cube. This actually looks like some of the earlier testing chambers too. Um, you know, like 1960s-ified. Or 50s uh, Or 50s-ified. 
Okay. No, just checking. Gamma. Let's try this again. And down. This guy. Oh, no, there's where we gotta go. Okay, alright. I'm getting my bearings. There we go. We need to go across here. Place our button. Oop. That. Ah, okay. So now, we should have the momentum we need to bounce. Oh. Okay. Um. Oh, let's try this. Oh. Oh. Come on. Make it across. Enough momentum. There we go. Across. There we go. I love the old looking buttons. Alright. So now we got that guy there. Gonna be enough uh, momentum. And there we go. All right. Anything from uh, Cave Johnson? Oh, in case you got covered oh. in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what <laughs> element it is yet, but I'll tell you this: it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Um. Well, okay then. Onward and forward, I guess. Do not get the repulsion gel on you. Seem to be doing okay. At least for the moment. All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. <laughs> Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers wow. into my calculator, it makes a happy face. Seriously. Alright. Uh, this looks like it's going to take more time than what I got for uh, this episode. So, this is where I'm going to say thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch, hang tight. There's one more episode to come. If you want to watch live, I stream Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. If, there's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, help the channel out. Follow on Twitch, even if you don't plan on watching on the regular. Follow on Twitch, because uh, that will help uh, That will help promote the channel out. And also subscribe to YouTube, even if you don't plan on watching all the time on YouTube. In addition to helping those channels out and helping me out, it will um, let you know, get notified when I go live on Twitch and when new episodes and other content get posted to YouTube because I do more than just games revisited. And uh, I plan on getting a little bit more going than what was there before. 
So live folks, give me a minute to prep the next episode and YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow.